Hello everyone, my name is Justice. If you clicked on this video, you either want to learn some more facts about PUBG Corp suing Epic Games, or you just want to listen to someone disagree with you, or you want to hear my opinion. Either way, welcome. We're going to just jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera, turn on the display capture. So this was the recent article posted to directly to PUBG's uh, game on Steam. Essentially, uh, PUBG Corp to sue Epic Games over Fortnite similarities. And so we'll just read the first uh, paragraph here. A courtroom battle is brewing as Player Unknown's Battlegrounds developers, PUBG Corp, have filed a copyright suit against Fortnite Battle Royale Studio, Epic Games, the Korean Times reports. PUBG Corp claim that Fortnite Battle Royale violates their copyright. While the finer points of the Korean case have not been made publicly yet, for the record, this could be the further action contemplated by PUBG Corp's parent company, Blue Hole, last se September. So I'm going to go ahead and just capitalize on that last part. Um, so yeah, last September, this exact same thing happened, except it wasn't an actual lawsuit. It was just a threat of a lawsuit. And so I'll go and read the actual article they linked, which is the same one I remember reading all the way back in September, eight, nine months ago. So this says, the, the makers of PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds today effectively puffed their chest, pointed at Epic Games, and growled, I'm watching you, sunshine. They issued a statement addressing comparisons between Battlegrounds and Epic's new Battle Royale mode in Fortnite, saying that some players have pointed out similarities and now Bluehole are concerned that Fortnite might be replicating the experience for which PUBG is known, which is foolishness, of course. As the article even says, not only does the article say that, even creator Brandon Player Unknown Green himself has told us he doesn't claim ownership over Battle Royale modes. Blue Hole muttering about contemplating further action seems a hollow threat, but hey, maybe by making it, they'll save face. So, to give you guys some history on this article, this was about the time when Fortnite was completely blowing up and it really hit the mainstream airwaves. Uh, essentially, Fortnite did kind of have a lot of similarities to PUBG, but after this article and after Blue Hole threatened publicly, threatened another game company, they really went out of their way to change their game up. And I'm sure if you are a gamer and you've played Fortnite to this day, you know what I mean. The game's changed crazy in the last eight to nine months. Fortnite's a, almost a different game. Uh, but so what I'm trying to say is after this threat happened, Fortnite went out of their way to start changing the game up. And they tried making it clear, we're not copying your, you're not doing that. We're not copying your whatever the fuck you're trying to say here, even though you say you don't own whatever it is you think we're copying. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to read a, a quote by Player Unknown slash Brandon Green, the quote unquote founder of the Battle Royale genre. Uh, he's, he says this, look, I don't claim ownership. So it's a last man standing deathmatch that's been around since people could pick up clubs and hit each other. I would never claim ownership over that. The ever-decreasing circle, I couldn't program squares like it is in the Battle Royale movie. The code for doing squares that shrink, I just couldn't do it because I wasn't a very good coder, right? So I moved it in an ever-decreasing circle that sort of moved around inside itself because that's how I could do it. I don't even claim ownership on that. These are old ideas. I love to see what the genre has created. It's various versions on something that I guess I popularized, you know? The idea itself is not mine. So literally, if you guys don't know the history of Battle Royale, Player Unknown coded a Battle Royale game mode for, I think it was either DayZ or Arma 2 or Arma 3. There was definitely a Battle Royale for Arma 3 um, that he coded. Essentially, all the way back then when he was coding this, this mod, it was a mod, it wasn't even a game, it was just a mod for the game. He was getting inspiration from the Battle Royale movie that obviously wasn't, you know, he didn't write the movie. He was watching the movie for inspiration. He's not one of the writers. He's not one of the, you know, content owners. And he even says that he couldn't program squares. He had to do a circle. And have you noticed every other Battle Royale game, every single Battle Royale game has done a circle too. If you wonder why. Um, anyway, uh, 
Brandon Green also worked on H1Z1's King of the Kill, which is uh, another battle royale game, which is literally the same as Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, but more arcadey. So it's like we, you know, we we we've seen this this sort of genre going back and forth. But the thing is, the issue is. Uh, Brandon Green is being an absolute hypocrite here, an absolute complete hypocrite here, because in this article, he says he doesn't claim ownership. He even says the idea, it's not his. But then why would Brandon Green copyright the battle royale genre and the formula? Because that's exactly what he did. And that's exactly the grounds that PUBG Corp are using to sue Epic Games. They're suing Epic Games because Brandon Green, or I don't know who owns the patent. They have a patent on the formula for battle royale. And like you see right here, man, nine, eight, nine months ago, he admitted that it's not his. He didn't, he doesn't own it. Anyone with a brain who, who uses their brain properly or somewhat decently and thinks about, you know, maybe hunger games, thinks about Minecraft hunger games, thinks about all of these, literally Brandon Green himself said, it's a last man standing death match that's been around since people could pick up clubs and hit each other. Like that right there is all you need to know about why it's bullshit or why PUBG Corp is suing Epic Games. It's for the money. It's it's for the marketing. If, if you didn't know, in Korea right now, South Korea, uh, Epic Games slash Fortnite are really trying to expand because it's such, a po it's such a popular, powerful, free game. And they're trying to expand their marketing in Korea. And it's kind of just, uh, it's interesting how, you know, PUBG Corp sues them as they're trying to do this. You know, and so we'll see what happens. The worst part about this all, you know, it's not the fact that like, you know, we game for reasons. We game to have fun. We game to escape reality. We game to not think about bullshit. And it's like the people who should be, who are providing us this experience are, are like now bringing all of this bullshit into our gaming experience. Like, why do we care about all of this? You know, like. Why do you guys have to sue each other? Just let the gamers have fun together. Shit, you know? What? Why do gamers game? Because they want to have fun. Because they want to relax. They want to escape. They don't want to log on and see my favorite game just sued my other favorite game. You know? Like, no, that's not the worst part about this, okay? That's not even the worst part about this. Not the, the worst part about this isn't the fact that we have adults acting like six-year-olds here. The worst part about this is what will happen... If, say, they win the lawsuit, what will that do to future game patents? What will that do to gaming in, in general? Someone says they own the Battle Royale genre, which is a genre slash idea that obviously can't be owned by anyone. And the law goes with them. How, how, what's going to happen after that? Like, what's going to have to, what's going to happen? And what's going to happen if they lose? Uh, because apparently back in 2007, when someone tried suing Epic Games, when they lost, Epic Games revoked their Unreal 4 engine license, meaning they had to revoke all of their game copies. So if you guys don't know, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds is using Unreal 4 engine, which was created by Epic Games. Epic Games made the Unreal engine back in, I believe, like 1997 or 1999. So if PUBG sues them and they lose, is Epic Games going to demolish their game? Or if PUBG sues Epic Games and they win, is that going to change the legality and the precedence of the gaming patents? Who knows, man? I don't give a fuck, honestly. I mean, it's obviously a pretty important thing, but what, whatever these rich assholes are doing, I don't give a fuck because it doesn't... It does affect us in a way. So yeah, in the end, I think this is all for money. Um, it's pretty obvious. When you sue someone, you're getting something from them. Um, I don't know if they're suing exactly for money. I do know they're suing to for ownership um, slash legal precedent, uh, which is another thing. What's going to happen if PUBG successfully sues Epic Games? The legal precedent around uh, content copyright in the gaming industry is going to be different. Uh, it's going to be totally different. I mean, if PUBG is able to successfully say that um, Fortnite is too similar to their game legally. What's that going to mean in the future? Because we all know they're not similar. We all know they're different games. Um, you know, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think that PUBG has a right to sue Epic Games? Do you think that they have good reason to? Um, give me your guys' opinions. 
Um, this isn't like the most important topic or the most important news story. Um, I am posting it though, just to kind of, you know, get people thinking a little bit or just to give you guys, um, kind of my take on it because I've been thinking about it a lot recently and I just wanted to, you know, get it out, I guess. Um, yeah. In the end, dude, greed is corporate greed is a burning breeze and it's the story of our lives. And uh, it's up to us to fight it. And it's up to us to kick its ass. And that's what this channel is going to be all about. So uh, see you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe with the notifications enabled. Because YouTube likes to decide what videos you guys see from who you subscribe to. Uh, and whatnot. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.